Talking Nerdy Logcast with your host, Pablo Gunner, and I am here to talk nerdy to you. About, of course, the Captain America Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. I'm going to go ahead and jump into Captain America Steve Rogers number one. It is one of the most controversial, if not the most controversial comic that has come out within the last 10 years. It's pretty crazy. In fact, even when Wednesday came around, Thursday came around, most of those people that were complaining about Captain America Steve Rogers number one did not even read it. And that irritates the crap out of me. If you have not been reading Captain America comics, I just feel like you really don't. You shouldn't have an opinion. You really shouldn't have an opinion. You haven't been reading Marvel comics recently, that you still, like, you don't understand what's been going on with him, which is, there was a little girl who, she's essentially like a cosmic cube shard, or something like that, that became sentient, like I said, became a person. She is the one that turned him back from an old man to rejuvenated Captain America Steve Rogers. So, already there, like, that's one thing that you're missing if you did not read the Assault on Pleasant Hill series, which, yeah, it, it, it was pretty solid. You know, it was pretty good. The thing is, is, like, you didn't read that. You don't know that that's what's been going on with him. So, for all you know, he could be altered because of that experience, for one. Second, a lot of people are getting upset because, oh, he's a Nazi, he's a Nazi. Hydra's not Nazis, okay? And, and that's something, if you watch the movies, you watch shows, you read comics, there's a very broad line between Nazis and Red Skull. Red Skull is not Hitler, okay? Red Skull is not a Nazi. And, and that's something that's even apparent in the movie, in the first Avenger, which he says, screw Hitler, screw Nazis. That's it. He doesn't give a crap about blonde haired blue eyed people. He doesn't care about Jews, Nazis. He doesn't care about all any of that, okay? So yes, According to the way that the writing was done, I do feel it was kind of disrespectful to the original creators. But if you look at their own stuff, they did the same stuff back in their own comic back in the day. They had Steve Rogers pretend that he was an undercover agent or a double agent to get in. You know, it's not like it hasn't been done before. It's just that I'm sure it was a lot more obvious then than it is now because this is done in a very secretive way. And they have said, hey, there's stuff that's building up to this. So there's plenty of things that you can, you know, that you're missing if you are not reading the comics. So I really feel like, you know what, if you didn't read the comic period, shut the hell up. Because you don't, you really don't. You, if you can't be informed on what it is, then what gives you the right? Oh, just because I love the character. Shut up. First of all, he's a fictional character. The fact that people are getting upset and cussing and, you know, arguing with each other and getting so upset, he's a fictional character. He's not real, okay? Yes, we all love him, and he's played by an actor who is very handsome and very muscular and awesome, and the movies are great and the character is well done. But you know, when it comes down to it, these are created by people. People write these characters, okay? And you know what? It just irritates crap. Read it, okay? It's not the greatest thing ever. It's not the greatest thing out there. Really, all he says is Hail Hydra. The other thing that people are getting upset about is that, oh yeah, oh well, his mom, um, the, the, she's a, you know, she, that she's the one that's Hydra. You know what? A lady gave her a flyer that had Hydra on it for a Hydra meeting. That's it, okay? A lot will be cleared up in the second issue, and, and, and we'll find out then. We'll find out then if they're going to keep on going with this or not. And that that's a big part of it. It's comics. These things happen. These things have been done. You know, maybe not this specifically, but with plenty of other characters. So, get over it. Hail you know, Hydra. And yes, you know what? Even though I said it, if you haven't read it, you shouldn't have an opinion, but everyone has a right to their own opinion. So tell me what you think about that, even if you haven't read the book, and hopefully someone will get that book that hasn't read it yet, uh, so that you all can find out more about it, you know, get the full uh, story. And then when number two comes around, I'll review it, and you can find out more about that. Uh, so like I said, thank you for uh, watching, listening, whatever, all that good stuff. You know, remember, you can always find me, us, whatever, whoever, whatever, uh, at TNTM The Show, everything, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, 
Hotmail, and of course the website. Oh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, so that you can get one of these comics. Captain America, Steve Rogers, number one. Doctor Strange, number eight. Star Wars, 19. The Uncanny Inhumans, number nine. Daredevil, number seven. And Deadpool, number 12. So, like I said, all you have to do is be a subscriber, then like and comment the video, and you can get one of these comics. I will send them to you, either the most likely Twitter or the YouTube Messenger. So, thank you again, and remember, talk nerdy to me. Hail Hydra. <laughs>